This program is brought to you through the support of the following sponsors. A pleasant day, friends, and welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron De Los Reyes, and uh, today I'm coming to you from the Plaza Isabel. This is in Ilagan, Isabela. This is a beautiful park uh, right here, and in front, there's also a monument to Queen Isabella II of Spain. In the meantime, we are here for the inauguration of uh, the Honda Kawayan Isabella dealership. And uh, this is one of the biggest uh, dealerships of Honda Cars uh, Philippines in this part of Luzon. This sculpture was based on the images and fashion of Queen Isabella II of Spain. By royal order, the Spanish conquistadores carved the province from Cagayan and Nueva Vizcaya in 1856 and named it after the then reigning Queen Isabella II. This memorial echoes Isabella's regal roots and unique place of favor in the heart of Spain. Isabella is a valley teeming with rice, corn, and other agricultural products. The monument was unveiled on May 10, 2014 and dedicated to the people of Isabella. Let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our Auto News Update. For this long weekend, NLEX Corporation has reminded motorists to travel during off-peak hours as it expects a 10% increase in traffic volume this All Saints and All Souls days. The surge of travelers is anticipated starting in the afternoon until the late night of October 28 and November 1, as well as in the early morning to afternoon of October 29 and November 2. On October 31, high traffic volume is also expected in some areas leading to the Philippine arena, as the Iglesia Ni Cristo is set to hold its Linga Palamahayag from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Motorists are also encouraged to check the traffic situation before heading to their destinations. Traffic advisories are regularly being posted on the company's official social media accounts. NLEX is also deploying over 1,000 personnel from October 28 to November 2 as it implements its Safe Trip Mo Sagutko, a motorist assistance program where the public can expect additional traffic management measures and enhanced expressway services. In other news, Toyota Motor Philippines has announced its promos across its product lineup this month of October. Interested buyers can drive home a brand new Toyota with paid low, paid light or savings deals which are available for the Toyota Innova, Vios, Rays, Rush, Corolla Altis, Wigo, Avanza, Hilux, High Ace and Fortuner models. Meanwhile, up to 35,000 peso rebate is offered for trade-ins of a Wigo for a Vios or Innova, or up to 30,000 pesos for a trade-in from a Vios to the race GCBT. The Avanza can also be upgraded to a Velos with a 20,000 peso rebate. For more information, visit the nearest Toyota dealer or visit their website.
On to our special feature. We had an interesting trip to Isabella by land in early October on board two vehicles. We first met at a coffee shop at a gas station on Enlex. Then we explored the new stretch of mountain roads in San Nicolas, Pangasinan. We had a great time taking a look at the great views from the mountain. The road would have saved us three hours of travel to Santa Fe and Isabella itself. However, when we were only 10 kilometers away from Santa Fe Junction, we encountered a big landslide that covered the whole road, rendering it impossible to any four-wheeled vehicle. Thus, we had to turn back to the old route via San Jose City in Nueva Ecija. On a lighter note, we had a great lunch in San Jose before proceeding to the Dalton Pass and the long road to Hawaiian City, Isabel. We spent the night at the beautiful Hotel Andrea. The next day before the main event, we had a short tour of Ilagan City, the capital of Isabella. back to Hawaiian City just in time for the inauguration. On the Cars Philippines Incorporated or HCPI inaugurated its 37th full-service dealership in Isabel. Present were Gateway Motors President Raymond Basubas, Executive Vice President Michael Goho, on the Cars Philippines Sales Division Head, Attorney Luis Soriano, and Kauaian City officials, led by Vice Mayor Bong Dali. On the Cars Philippines President Masahiko Nakamura joined the program via Zoom. We're here at the official inauguration of Honda Cars Kauaian in Isabella. It's actually been here for some time, but we're proud to say this is the first uh, newly renovated uh, dealership with the new CI. So we're actually the first. And it's 3,500 square meters. And our workshop can accommodate up to 30 units per day. And our showroom can accommodate a five car display. Actually, we have more than enough space. So it's really a full scale dealership as we're very confident about the market here we see uh, a lot of potential for growth uh, and it's certainly booming congratulations honda kawaiian dito mo sa sudad ng kawaiian and also uh, welcome all the philippines and uh, gateway uh, management to put uh, business in the city of Kawayan, behalf of the city government headed by Mayor Cesar JCD, and all the city and people of Kawayan. Welcome, kami po ito us ng papasalamat sa Honda and the same with the Gateway Philippines na isa sa number, uh, dito po uh, nilagay nyo another landmark of the Kawayan na uh, dito po kayo napili, dito po sa aming lungsod na maglagay ng ang Honda dito po sa lungsod ng Kawayan. Honda Cars Kauaian City is located on a highly accessible area along the National Highway and nearby commercial establishments, making the Honda brand even closer to customers in northeastern Luzon.
It stands on a 3,500 square meter floor area with a five car display showroom, spacious customer lounge, and the new Modulo and Mugen parts and accessories corner. On the owners may also bring their vehicles for after sales services such as preventive maintenance and general repairs. As Honda Cars Kawayan has a service area with 15 work bays and 8 lifters complete with state of the art facilities and equipment. Honda Cars Kawayan is the fourth Honda car dealer under the management of the Gateway Group and is also the first dealership to adopt the new visual identity that sports a refreshed look and new dealership signage design that is aligned with Honda Motor Company Limited in Japan. This is uh, under Gateway Group. This is basically our 37th dealership uh, nationwide and uh, we are very happy that uh, we have uh, uh, opened again and divide the uh, Honda Cars Kauaian City. Now, uh, basically we would like to cater to all the Ilocanos no? and those living from the Cagayan Valley because this was, uh, dealership was uh, appointed here in order to cater to the uh, Ilocanos and also those living in the Region 2. So the primary market area for this uh, dealership is basically the provinces of Region 2 in Quirino, Nueva Vizcaya, Isabela, and uh, Cagayan. And if you're going to see the, this dealership, we have applied basically our uh, new uh, corporate image or BI. You know? And we have applied here our basic concept of what we call the active reception, wherein the, the focus of the dealership is really to cater to the needs of our Honda customers. No? And we would like to assure all the my Kababayan in Region 2 that we are here to provide a quality service to all of you. Not only a quality of service, but also the quality of cars that we are offering in Honda. Honda Cars Kawayan is located at Barangay Tagaran National Highway, Kawayan City, Isabel. I'd like to invite everyone to Honda Cars Kawayan to check out our newly renovated dealership and to experience all the exciting new Honda models that we have in store for everyone to really enjoy. Inaimbag nga rabi yung amin nga kailyan dito yung region 2. Uh, Adot yung kami uh, Honda Cars Kawayan City ay adad toy. Tanong mang Ted, tinapintas nga serbisyo para kanya yung amin. Inaimbag nga rabi yung amin na po. Welcome back to Auto Review. On our special feature, we go to the 10th Electric Vehicle Summit. And uh, we've seen this show from the very start uh, 10 years ago. And today, uh, for the next two days, uh, they have very interesting uh, displays and test drives of full electric vehicles. And you have uh, the vehicles from uh, Dongfeng, from uh, BYD, Cherry, Hyundai, even Jaguar has uh, its own electric uh, vehicle here. And uh, I think it's 
good for us to get to know more about the future of mobility and uh, a lot of uh, motorists are now using either electric cars, electric pickups, and uh, even e-trikes and e-bikes. Here's our report. Hello everyone, we're here at the SMX Convention Center featuring the Ionic 5 in the 10th EV Summit. So the Ionic 5 is the winner of the World Car of the Year. Uh, it is a triple crown uh, winner for the design and its performance as well. We are highlighting our Figo 8 Pro PHEV, which is the plug-in hybrid. Our plug-in hybrid is uh, capable of to run up to 95 kilometers, and uh, the fuel consumption is around uh, 30 uh, kilometers to a liter at long drive. We don't have any kind of any promotion for the plug-in hybrid, but uh, our plug-in hybrid is priced at 2.5 million uh, with uh, a lot of features. Okay, so basically. The plug-in hybrid is more on the fuel uh, fuel savings. Arlan, uh, this is a beautiful display here of uh, Dongfeng, and I think uh -huh. you're the first distributor to display and sell a pickup with uh, full electric uh, yes, sir. capability. Uh -huh. Tell us more about it. So this is the Rich 6 uh, electric pickup. It's actually, the body shell is based on a Nissan Navara because uh, Dongfeng, for a fact, has a joint venture with, uh, with Nissan in China. So Dongfeng, uh, they built this uh, EV uh, drivetrain on their own. So they're selling it as the Rich 6. Okay, so, so far, we have sold, uh, I think, around 40 units of this uh, pickup to one of our fleet accounts. And they're a uh, utility company. That's uh, electricity, that's a uh, telecommunications company. To. So this version, uh, it can travel up to 320 kilometers on one single charge. So maybe, uh, to give you an idea, Manila to Pampanga or Clark would be around 80 kilometers. Clark to Manila and uh, 160 lang yun, di ba? 80, so sobra ka pa. Kayang kaya yun, baka you can do it four times. Behind this uh, pickup, we have the EC36 uh, seven-seater van. So it's also a pure electric vehicle, 100% electric. It can travel up to 300 kilometers in one full charge. And then uh, in front of me, beside me is uh, the Captain T. It's a cargo van, uh, configurable yung body. You can have a drop side body, uh, aluminum body or passenger van body. So this one can travel up to 280 kilometers.
congratulations to the organizers of the 10th Electric Vehicle Summit here at the SMX Convention Center. Congratulations, Edmond Araga, Perdi Los Santos, and Romel Juan, the top officers of the Electric Vehicle Association of the Philippines. Auto Review will be back. Stay with us. Review continues, and on our motorsports report, uh, we bring you the start of uh, the Petron Philippine Motor Mountain. So, here are some of the competitors. A lot of them, 25 teams are competing, and each team has three vehicles, so, total of 75. And uh, they're off uh, for the assembly point in Dingalan, Aurora. And earlier there was a uh, send-off uh, ceremony. Uh, in fact, uh, it uh, continues now with uh, the other uh, teams. And this is going to be an exciting three-day competition in uh, General Nakar in Quezon. The country's biggest overlanding expedition finally got off to a good start. Before the send-off, participants had their briefing and lunch at the Laos Event Center in San Fernando City, Pampanga. Organizer Tim Poison of Motopesto Group has this message to the participants. On behalf of uh, Petron Philippine Overland Expedition and Motopesto and all traction performers, uh, we wish uh, all the competitors uh, safe driving and uh, good luck and uh, happy trailing. Uh, we see you uh, at the finish line. Camper who are uh, going to the General Dakar campsite. Uh, this is gonna be exciting. We have uh, uh, 75 uh, competitor rigs. Um, they will be arriving at our campsite. You will see the different type of uh, modified uh, expedition rigs. And uh, of course, uh, it's a uh, beautiful uh, weather. The weather are cooperating with us. Our campsite has a freshwater river uh, and a nice, uh, nice view. So this will be an uh, epic uh, week for the Philippine motorsports. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated and Honda Cars Kawain City for inviting us to the inauguration 
of uh, the new Honda Cars Kawaiian City in Isabela. Until next week, at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po.